Hello everyone and welcome to our next technical analysis review for the Euro US dollar pair. Today is December 6, 2011 and we are currently looking at price action on our 15 minute chart. Um, as you can see on yesterday we had the strong selling take place and it came as a result of an announcement that came out yesterday afternoon about the S&P putting 15 European nations on negative credit watch. So then you can see that there was strong selling pressure that came into the market yesterday afternoon. But um, let me point out something to you prior to um, the announcement on yesterday. We can see that um, the market uh, was pushing upward. It was sliding upward towards this resistance at 3480. And it actually made multiple attempts to break through this, this resistance at 3480, but it couldn't. Um, but um, I wanna point out something to you because this was not only just historic resistance, but it was also um, an area that was marked by a Fibonacci level. Um, let me show it to you. Now, if I were to draw a Fibonacci uh, retracement from our last drop on last Friday, uh, if I take the low here at 33.63 and take it to our high at 35.49, Okay, you can see that this area was also our 61.8% retracement level as well. So we see the zone of resistance being created and price made multiple attempts to break above this level, but it couldn't. So then, of course, we can see the pair uh, eventually began to slide and it began to slide lower from this resistance at 34.80 and around 12.40 is when the announcement came out about the S&P putting those nations on credit watch. And from there, we began to see the pair began to continue to drop. And you can see there was strong selling. If you look at the candlesticks, um, you can see that there was strong momentum and strong selling pressure. So that, um, it dropped quickly and it continued to drop all the way, even through yesterday's Asian trading session. And it, and it dropped until actually... Um, today's London session and from there we began to see this rally upward and this slide and this push upward towards our um, daily pivot point for today at 34.20. Now let me um, remove this Fibonacci level. Now you know I want to point out something about this 34.20 area um, and it being significant because it's not just where our daily pivot point is, but it's all, it was also an area of historic support and resistance. But not only that, it was a 61.8% Fibonacci level as well. Now, if I were to actually draw another <laughs> Fibonacci retracement from the low here, the swing, the drop from yesterday all the way up here to our high, you can see that this marked also our 61.8% uh, retracement level. So then we see this zone of resistance being created, this area of confluence being created where you can actually place a few trades, place a few um, short orders if you were positioned correctly in the market. Now, what I'm about to do, I'm about to substitute this 61.8% line with the horizontal line and, and, and make it a dash and remove this, uh, remove this Fibonacci line and go out to a larger time frame because I want to prove to you how this 3420 zone has historically been a strong area of support and resistance. You can see that during November, during the month of November, you can see that price made multiple attempts to break through this 3420 zone and it served as strong support um, during the middle of November. But now moving into um, December, it's now currently resistance, you know, on our chart. So then let me actually move to our five-minute chart so we can get a better picture of the price action for today. Now, you could have traded this um, by either placing a sell order, a few pips below this um, this zone at 3420. You could have placed a sell order at 3416 and could have set up like a 10 or 12 pip stop loss on the other side of the zone and this could have turned into a 50 pip trade if you would have held out to it and if you would have closed it out here it would have been about a 50 pip trade but if you are a more conservative trader you could have entered on the break of this resistance 
right here at the break of this zone and then you could have traded on the pullback up to this resistance and entered here and you could have shorted the pair here for about a 40 pip trade so those are two entries that are two places you could have entered and you could have also entered later on here but what I want to show to show you is that during most of the New York trading session the um, trading volume has been pretty thin um, of course um, you can see that we are slightly bullish uh, from for most of the day and I believe that the volume is going to be thin until uh, we hear the outcome of the ECB meeting on Thursday or the EU leader summit um, meeting on Friday so we can expect to see lower volume in thin trading and thin trading ranges uh, for most of the week but we must keep in mind also that there is a lot of headline risk out there in the market so any news coming out of Europe can affect the market and can move the market in any way so just be aware of that but I'm expecting the trading volumes to be thin of course it is December and we are approaching the Christmas season so normally um, trading begins to slow down but um, I'm expecting you know th there to be this slow move upward until we hear what's gonna take place after the EU leader summit on Friday so that's about it from my technical analysis review for today um, it's not much for you just wanted to point out those key levels at the 3420 level and uh, the 3480 those are good um, zones where you can place um, good trades um, so then just be aware of those zones and I'll talk to you guys later okay talk to you soon get in bye